Frau Dunz. Ms. Dunz, please. Christina Dunz from the German Press Agency. Madam Chancellor, um, given the experience of the GDR, you are always saying that you are so confident that walls can fall also. For how dangerous do you think this isolationist policy of the U.S. President is, what with the import uh, uh, tariffs that he plans and also for, with the fact that he doesn't think the EU uh, doesn't uh, deal with the EU um, in a very respectful way? And um, um, Mr. President, America first, don't you think that this is going to weaken also the European Union? And why are you so scared of um, diversity in the news and in the media, that you speak so often of uh, fake news and that um, things, after all, in the, uh, in the end cannot be proven? For example, the fact that you have been wiretapped by Mr. Obama. Nice, friendly reporter. Well, first of all, I don't believe in an isolationist policy. But I also believe a policy of trade should be a fair policy. And the United States has been treated very, very unfairly by many countries over the years, and that's going to stop. But I'm not an isolationist. I'm a free trader, but I'm also a fair trader. And our free trade has led to a lot of bad things happening. Uh, you look at the deficits that we have, and you look at uh, all of the uh, accumulation of debt. We're a very powerful company, country. We're a very strong, very strong country. We'll soon be uh, at a level that we perhaps have never been before. Our military is going to be strengthened. It's been depleted. But I am a trader. I am a fair trader. I am a <clears throat> trader that wants to see good for everybody worldwide. Uh, but I am not an isolationist by any stretch of the imagination. So I don't know what <clears throat> newspaper you're reading, but I guess that would be another example of, as you say, fake news. Also, ich ähm, möchte es einfach mal so. Well, allow me, if I may, to put it in the following terms. We haven't yet had time to talk at a great length about economic issues, but I would so say that uh, the success of Germany in the economic area, but also on um, security and peace. Um, that the success of Germans have always been one where the German success is one side of the coin and the other um, side of the coin has been European unifi unity and European integration. That's something of which I'm deeply convinced and I'm not only saying this back home, I'm saying this here, I'm saying it in the United, Na in the United States and also here in Washington in my talks with the President. Secondly, I believe that globalization ought to be shaped in an open-minded way, but also in a very fair way. Freedom of movement within the European Union, for example, is a very important element of our economic progress of peace, has been for many, many decades. The European countries for many, many centuries waged wars against each other. We have to protect our external borders because, and there we have to work in, on the basis of mutual interest with our neighbors. Um, migration, immigration, uh, integration has to be worked on. Obviously, um, traffickers have to be stopped, but this has to be uh, done by looking at the refugees as well, giving them opportunities to sh shape their own lives where they are, help countries who right now are not in an ability to do so, um, sometimes because because they have civil war. I think that's the right way of going about it. And this is obviously what we have an exchange of views about. Um, but uh, my position is the one that I've just um, set out for you.